Hi, Michael, the Mercedes guy here, and we're talking about books. These are various reference books that are great to have. This particular one here is very useful. Nitsky, Robert Nitsky. I uh, used to live in Arizona. I don't know if he's still around anymore, but production models, 46 to 83. This is great reference. Uh, you can look up and it'll tell the, the advancements of particular models, prices and production numbers, and a, a few specifications, engine brakes, uh, uh, this is nice for rear axle ratio, and it also has the gear ratios of the transmission and a few other things, fuel tank size and so on. Now, you're going to run across some mistakes in any publication. In this one, uh-oh, they're showing a 108 car there when this is actually supposed to be a 114. And I think they have another mistake in here somewhere, too, with another model. But anyway, just be aware of that. This is the Haynes Manual. Now, a few years back, I started finding a few mistakes. And I thought, you know, I'm going to make a list of the mistakes and let them know for future publications. I think I got to about page 30, and I had like 20 mistakes, and I said to heck with it. So, I wouldn't advise using that book. Now, this is the Chilton's, which certainly is easier to handle than the Bible. This is the Word of Mercedes, that book, which you want to have, but for... Average stuff, this is great. Plus, they have an index, which this book does not have. So, Chilton's, great. This book, I've only found one mistake in it. And that is the early style coupler on your... Uh, either your drive shaft to the transmission or the drive shaft to the uh, differential. The picture is backwards. This little shape needs to go to the rear. Not the front as they show it. That's the only mistake I found in this book. And uh, these are great to get a hold of. They run about 75 to maybe 150 bucks. And this is what you want if you're going to get into your car big time. This will do for your average person who just needs to do tune-ups and want to know a few, few things.